you guys wanted a tutorial here it is um excuse my face because i literally just woke up i'm sorry about the horrible horrible lighting i am not about to turn no light on right now because i just woke up the first step that i do for my hair is apply coconut oil three hours before i wash it i only apply it to the ends of my hair so from like here down section my hair scoop it out let it melt in my hands because i don't want chunks of coconut oil on my hair coconut oil has just been applied and now i'm gonna leave it in for three hours and then wash it off and i'll show you guys the products that i use to wash out my hair so i'm extremely sorry if there's like an echo in here because as you can see i'm in the shower it's been three hours and i'm about to take the coconut oil out of my hair and i'm gonna show you guys the process my hair is fairly long i can't put the camera any more down because I don't have anything. First thing you want to do is completely wash off all of the coconut oil with shampoo. This is so uncomfortable. The first shampoo I used is Dove Daily Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. So it's a two-in-one. Usually, I will tell you guys, do not put shampoo on the ends of your hair. But due to the fact that we did just apply coconut oil, I'm going to put a little bit on the ends of my hair just to remove the excess. When I say to put shampoo on the end of your hair, not too much. Put the majority of it on your scalp and then when you wash it off, it will go down to the end of your hair. Second shampoo, I use this Sheen Moisture Hydrate and Repair Shampoo that you can get from Superdrug, Hair Shop. I don't really know about the smell. It like, I don't know, it doesn't really smell like anything, but this I only apply on my scalp. I don't apply anything on the end of my hair, but like I said, from the roots or go down to the end when you're washing it off. It's like really watery. For this one, you don't really need to use a lot. Now, the main conditioner I use is this John Frieda, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, Frizz Ease Dream Curls curl defining conditioner you can also get it from superdrug all of these products will be linked down in my description i have experimented with loads and loads and loads and loads of conditioners and i feel like this one is better number one to detangle my hair and number two it smells oh my word i don't think you guys understand how good this smells so i use this one to detangle my hair and then i have another conditioner and then another mask that i put on after it i used to really like using the l'oreal um conditioner but i stopped using them and i would advise you guys to as well because they do test on animals which is absolutely ridiculous usually with conditioner i only apply it from here down never on my scalp just like with coconut oil but i do get through these quite quickly I have to buy one like every month or so because I do need quite a lot for my hair because as you can see I have a ton so I've put the conditioner all throughout my hair and I'm going to use the denim brush to detangle my curls from the bottom upwards I do start with my whole hair and then when I get to about like here I separate my hair into two and then detangle two sections separately <laughs> Now 
now that my hair has been completely detangled i am going to rinse out this conditioner and then apply my other conditioner I'm going to use the She Moisture Frizz Defense Conditioner. Um, yes, I like a lot of frizzless conditioners because my hair gets so frizzy. I don't think you guys understand. Um, it actually gets very ridiculous. That's why my hair is in, is mainly always gelled down. I don't like to use a lot of this, obviously because I just use other conditioner and then I'm gonna use a hair mask on top. So I only put a little bit of this. A lot of the She Moisture products don't really smell that nice. I feel like the only She Moisture product that I've used at least that smells really good is the curling cream. I think that's what it's called. Um, because the leave-in conditioner itself smells absolutely horrible. Sometimes I use both of them to like cancel out the smell of the leave-in conditioner. And then I just brush through my hair one more time. Now I'm just gonna wash it off. Now that that's all out of my hair, I go ahead with this Novex hair mask that is a Brazilian cream. I'll leave their website down below and I'll leave this particular cream and then I use their leave-in conditioner as well, which I'll also link down below. This is a hair mask and you have to leave it in your hair for 10 minutes. Um, there are some days where I don't put leave-in conditioner in my hair at all, so I'll do shampoo twice and then one conditioner and then get out of the shower and then just braid my hair without any leave-in conditioner. I feel like that really gives my hair a break and it gives it a chance to breathe. So I would advise you also to do that. I feel like having too much product in your hair every single day isn't really healthy for it. So that's what I like to do. But I'm going to apply this hair mask all throughout my hair and leave it in for 10 minutes and then after take it out again. I will get back to you guys in 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes and I'm about to wash the mask off my hair and then that is it for my hair care in the shower. So now that I'm out of the shower, I'm gonna show you guys my aftercare. Oh, my hair smells so nice. As you can see, my hair's less than damp right now. It's fairly dried, um, especially at the ends. And that usually happens every time I wash my hair. By the time I actually sit down um, and get to start putting cream in it, it's usually always dry because I put my towel around my hair. What I like to do first off is take this Palmer's Olive Oil Conditioning Spray um, and I'll spray this all around my hair after I've sprayed it again with a little bit of water to make it a bit more wet. I'll take this and put it only on the end of my hair. Now, for the main products, first one is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil She Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. Like I said before, the smell of this... <laughs> The smell of this is not great at all. I actually despise it. So I like to go in with another leave-in conditioner on top of it. And I use the Novex leave-in conditioner the same as the, the hair mask that I showed you guys before. Um, This, I love the smell of this. None of these products really prevent my hair from frizz. So after I've put both of these, I'll wait like an hour or so for it to settle in and for it to dry. And then I'll go in with just a little bit of the Aunt Jackie's curling gel. This smells amazing. Um, it smells, kind of smells like strawberry jelly. Just like when I detangle my hair, I will start applying this on my hair from the bottom and then I'll separate it and then apply it in two separate sections. So after I applied the first leave-in conditioner, I usually go through my hair again with the Demon brush. Now I'm 
Now I'm going to apply the Novex Leading Conditioner. all done i'm gonna wait for it to dry for an hour or so and after i'm gonna apply the aunt jackie's curling gel i have a confession it is four hours later um but as you can see my hair hasn't dried that much like it's still damp but i'm gonna apply i'm gonna show you guys how i apply the um, aunt jackie's gel so when i use this gel i like sectioning my hair into four apply on the sections of my hair that usually only get frizzy so like i'll put it here at the top and like just in between my curls and i like putting it on the end of my hair as well and then after i've done that i just scrunch up my hair I just put that all throughout my hair and I scrunched it up and it's probably not going to fully dry until the, the night until I go to sleep. So I'll record an update for you guys before I go to sleep. But this is how it's looking as of right now. 